of Luz. I am keeping one division in place in Crimea, and the other one is following you into Simferopol. Do you want us to destroy the units in Yevka? Yeah, that one. Um, before we move on, so you can link up to the Italians. Uh, you can probably destroy that. I'll try to move to uh, further east, so I can surround the unit in the peninsula there. And then okay, I can link I up with the Italians. I can scrounge up one more division, so it's a little bit easier. We only... what? I have two divisions and you have one, yes? Oh uh, yeah, I have one there. But let me know when you start attacking that, I can give you some ground support. Or air support, rather. Uh, nothing will happen until 11th of August. Okay. Uh, one division there, probably needs to pull back. Oh wow, the battle that was going on from the start of the war finally ended. We lost almost 43,000 and they lost 49,000. Oh yeah, the one near Pesco. Yep. Yeah, I was cycling troops in and out there because they keep attacking. Yeah, that's what I had to keep on go doing as well. Oh, again, it only gave you the HQ. <laughs> Okay, that's gonna be a problem. Are they attacking from that? No, it's from these two. Do you have any troops? With you? Actually, two units from here that back that way. This here. Now, how is Kill doing? That needs to pull back. Okay, and there, you can start attacking them. Lensburg. Oh yeah, this that light infantry division is almost dead. Let's see. Let's combine two of these. There. Yes, yeah, a little bit surely the British landing near Kiel is uh, being defeated. See that one. Pull this one back a little bit. Where's the headquarters? You are. Now there's two divisions attacking there. Need to rest. The amount of reinforcements is starting to skyrocket a little bit. It's the combat from the start of the war, all those troops need. Well, no, I mean, from that it only raised by, like, maybe 10 points total, but, like, it's already 80 points that we're using. Yeah. Okay, how is Kiev going? You need to pull back out of the combat. You can actually enter that now another division. Could be attacking us, but two. Let's send in this down there. I'm not going all back. Support attack there. I'll take that. Mm. 
these are all attacking. Okay, so how's this? Combat seems to be going fairly well. What about here? It's almost over. Well, I'm still a little, uh, happy to report that our fighters are better than the Soviets were. <laughs> they better be, because they outnumber you. <laughs> uh, there is one division over here that could be sent that way, be over there. That's going to be the next long battle. Well, one thing that is going okay is, is that the Soviets will probably cut off the British from India, so those troops will not come here. I realize I can do this multiple times, I just need to do it for every division, so I'm going to pause for a moment. Okay. You have to do every division for itself. Yep. Oh, oh, such a pain. It's a lot of clicks. Well, to be fair, it's a paradox game. Yeah. It's known for its clicking. Now you can see your troop meter go. <laughs> well, it's going to take uh, about a day for them to be returned. You can check how many troops do you have now and then pass. And it's like, oh, I doubled the army. <laughs> I have 270-ish thousand troops at the moment. Nice. So it's going to be almost an extra 50% with these. And they will be greatly needed. Okay, there we go. And in there, do we have any room? It's here. Yeah, they're still attacking us there, but that shouldn't be an issue. He's in slightly better shape now. One of my mountain divisions shattered. Uh oh. Uh, out of 4,700 men, 411 walked out. Do not mess with the Soviet tank units. You. Not when you're Romanians. Yes, Germans, you can defeat them. Yeah, but I still had uh, fully uh, researched anti tank guns, and I built additional anti-tank units to put in it, but still, no chance. Yeah, don't worry, the Italians also have that problem. That they do. Ouch. But now, they all have four stars in experience. All of them have like 70%, <laughs> so that's nice. <laughs> I need to cross this river in the Caucasus. <laughs> in the North Alicia's mountains, I just want to cross in this hour. So. Oh, I see the Italians are pushing out a little bit. Yeah. In Crimea. The combat managed to end, so I can fix Sevastopol and then maintain courage. Okay, the British landing has almost been destroyed. Well done. Again. Thank you. We've had a fair bit of experience with those landings. <laughs> you say the that British is like, there, I
There we go, combat over. The British are like, oh, best out of three, best out of five. We will <laughs> consider this. <laughs> they will land it. One way or the other. Don't have any troops there. We do have a unit going about this way. Attacking us here, we're attacking them there and there. Although we're taking heavy casualties here. We don't have any interceptors around, do we? Well, we do. Resting currently, we do have this. We go and give them ground attack there for a couple of days. We take our massive losses. Well, we're taking it a little bit. I should be getting uh, most of the units back in a few moments. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we are winning, destroying those bombers, that's good. Ah, uh, yes, a conscript div division of one conscript and one NKVD. And they in position against one fully Italian infantry division. <laughs> in the plains, with no modifiers. So we then circle unit in Crimea destroyed. What's that? I have to go back to Kurds. They are trying to go through. Yeah, no, I think we have enough troops to clean out Crimea now. These are attacking... Attacking, going down there, you can cut off that one. Try and just round Kiev. Not going to be a lot of units in circle, but it's going to be few. here that are good to attack. We got one division that could maybe assist there. But the this can probably move in to help in the combat here because those are taking a lot of damage. These are doing fine. That's doing mostly fine. Okay, by the end of the month we should be getting a bit more infantry at least. I will have more infantry at the end of the in January. <laughs> oh, there is a one unit is almost done in the production queue. He has some of the historical not being done. Why? Well, yeah, they are expensive enough. Fair enough. But it's well, it's motorized. Uh, I think I'm going to push some of this up. It's elite infantry, motorized infantry, this can help, rather than just infantry. Hmm, um... That one should not be attacking, uh, isn't attacking right now. Okay, 
There might still be in Circle of Minsk today, but it's not going to be quite as big as it was uh, going to be at first. Oh yeah, there will... It wasn't very much hopeful, but it was something to work through. <laughs> Armor is ahead of time. We don't need that. Art, advanced armor designs. I'm not going to push that to the top. But at least we can still have more progress than in real life. True. Okay, uh, that division needs to pull back. You can probably attack there. Come back. Oh, right, they have tanks there. We do have the piercing attack though, so that's. Or do we? Should have, but... Oh no, that one has 31 armor there, okay. Apparently there's a proletariat division that has uh, some heavy tanks or something like that here. Hmm. Oh, that may be even the spawns that are proletariats and then heavy tanks, and the AI sometimes combines them. Oh, lovely. The British are now trying to land in Stade. You have your chance, British. Three times. Now it's not the time. We'll defeat them in the beaches. <laughs> we shall never surrender. I'll be pushing these out. Oh, that heavy tank division is pain in the butt. I'm going to start moving the Slovak divisions to the area east of the river. So that I can maybe push to Ros Rostov or something like that. Yeah, but if you can send them into the province first that's been attacked, uh, two provinces from you. That would be greatly appreciated. Can do. Thanks. Until my um, new Romanian army arrives. It may still take some time. Yeah, Looks like it's giving one you two every day. Yeah. Oh, that's another three divisions that the British landed here. Well, three more to go. They have all sorts of tanks there. Speaking of tanks, two, in two days we're going to get a tank division. Oh, nice. Are defeating them there? To push through here. Oof, the Italian practicals are shit. It doesn't have anything. It's 3.4 for infantry, 2 for militia, 3.7 for mobile. Yeah, and meanwhile in Germany we have almost every practical at least 15. Yeah. Except heavy aircraft and battleships. Uh, one infantry regiment for him is 6.3 AC. Ouch. Ooh. Let's I see have, for us. Uh, 2.5 in infantry. The infantry regiment I see is about 5 I see for us. Hmm. Uh, as the Soviets, you can get it as, as 3. <laughs> Thanks to the human weight. Yeah, I mean, also it depends a lot on uh, how big your infantry regiments are. Yeah, I mean, with the Soviets, max sizes, infantry was 3. I see. Hello, Ansing. How's it going? But it was a uh, human wave cost is like minus 2.5, I see. Under attack there, there's a lot of tanks here. We don't really have the troops to push them out yet. What attack from here? Trying to push here. Do they have tanks? Oh, no. is, yeah. 
ให้เสร็จแล้วอ่าอัลเบอร์เชอร์ is currently playing as Italy. Yeah, I'm trying to save your units. I didn't realize we started early. Well, the uh, clocks were shifted, summer time and all that. Not good. Are we at least attacking them? There we are. Well, how's it going trying to save my units, Alberto? Uh, the ones in uh, India couldn't be saved, so the three special units, special infantry, are gone. The Soviets and British surrounded completely. A couple of mountain units are able semi escape they are trained, but the Soviet cavalry is pursuing them and attacking them, so they cannot strategically retreat. Then, from the border with uh, Britain in, in Iraq and Iran, I'm retreating past the river because one division is able to counteract six. Yep. So, yeah, I'm, I'm then I'm attacking the Soviets, so I'm deciding if I should do the line behind the river or retreat even farther to. Almost the Caucasus. And now your units have arrived to the Caucasus and it's trying to advance a bit. One bit of combat here. Uh, oh, these are so not in a good shape though. Let's we'll see. Back. Also, Sebastopol has almost fallen and Kerch is holding. Uh, the British also intercepted one fleet and destroyed one light cruiser and two destroyers. But not anything else. I hate Operation Compass. Yeah, uh, the units in circle are dead, so the four units, and currently is holding in Mechian Derna. I'm not going, we're still kind of pushing. One needs to stop. Both of them need to stop. We are at least pushing that still away. So, when do we rehost? When um, it is ready and. I suppose we could uh, rehost now. 